Hello everyone and welcome to the second lesson on vocabulary. In this lesson, I'll show you what are some of the dictionaries that you can use on your smartphone. And if you don't use a smartphone, then I'll show you the dictionaries that you can use on your laptop or on your PC. At the end of the lesson, I will also show you how you can access these dictionaries online anytime, anywhere. So keep watching. Hello everyone, my name is Rizmon and if you haven't subscribed to my channel already, please do it right now. So okay, I'm very much excited about these dictionaries. I want you to use the best dictionaries um, available in the world. So if you are a student or if you are a writer, these dictionaries are going to be very useful for all of you out there. So let's proceed. So let's see what uh, dictionaries I use on my smartphone. I have at least four dictionaries, main dictionaries that I, on daily basis I use them. So let's see what are they. So first of all, this is Advanced Learner's Dictionary, Cambridge Advanced Learner's Dictionary. Now this is a very good dictionary, okay, this is my go-to dictionary, I use it on daily basis. And if you are a student like me, or if you are a writer like me, then you would also use these dictionaries on daily basis. So the dictionary is a book, is a go-to book for most of the uh, learners. So what are some of the features of this Cambridge Advanced Learner's Dictionary? Now. Um, you can search any word for example let's search a word say i'm searching a word fence now see uh, this is not only uh, telling you the pronunciation through audios if i just click on uk button if i click on the us button so uh, uk meaning uh, uh, british language okay english the pure english okay britain british english and uh, if i click on the us meaning the united states okay so meaning american language okay so uh, pronunciation of both countries you can hear there is a lot of difference in uh, pronunciation in uh, spellings in grammar structures okay so now in, in our previous lesson we talked about ipa international phonetic alphabet so you can uh, see the, those uh, uh, pronunciation and slashes as well okay so uh, you can uh, see that as well. Now, if you uh, come uh, to the other uh, section, you can also see some of the words would uh, have pictures. You can see the pictures. So, there is a meaning of the word and uh, then it's also telling us that uh, uh, in our second, how many meanings are there, first, second, okay, and some of the collocations are there, which words can go with this, okay, what are some of the phrasal verbs with it. So, there are a number of things, important things that you can, uh, you know, um, uh, see here through this dictionary. So, it is also telling you in um, uh, what, how it is used in uh, uh, different uh, situations. So, a lot of things, a lot of information is there. So, this is a dictionary that I use okay let me uh, tell you some of the other features of this it would also show you history okay some of the words that you have already searched these are some of the words that I have already searched so you can uh, see what words you have already searched now if you want uh, to uh, bookmark any new word that you are learning you can click on favorites so for example if I come here and if I search this one then I can add a click on this button it would be my favorite word okay so see like this so uh, this has uh, favorites now you can see that these are some of the words that I have already uh, clicked okay now uh, other features are that uh, okay it would be uh, showing you uh, some other uh, resources like uh, numbers used, uh, used as words parts of speech grammar uh, uh, points okay so style and usage labels geographical names some other things are also there okay so this is something very important this is a very good dictionary that you should use now other dictionary that i have on my smartphone is oxford advanced learners dictionary okay so this is one of the very important dictionaries uh, that uh, are used in the world so for example if i search a word here abuli and okay so if i just search this word now see it's uh, showing me a lot of options a lot of options okay so it is telling me british english pronunciation american english pronunciation whether the word is formal or informal it's also giving me a lot of sentences you can see these sentences okay so a lot of sentences are there okay 
C. Okay, so these are the number of options there. Now you can uh, click on this option and it would hide the international phonetic alphabet, IPA pronunciation. Okay, so if you click it again, then it would show you both uh, pronunciations, audio pronunciations uh, and um, uh, phonetic uh, and uh, IP international phonetic alphabet uh, uh, pronunciations. If you want to bookmark this word, then you click uh, on this star button, it would be saved. Okay, so here you can find that word. Okay, uh, somewhere here it would be saved. Okay, so this is something great. See, I have uh, clicked on this button and it is showing me the history history option what are some of the words that you have already used so i use this dictionary when i'm in class sometimes you know you need a dictionary when you are reading uh, any lesson to students from a textbook or when you are reading any passage or if any student asks you any word so you know these dictionaries are very handy i can just take it out from my pocket and i can use the dictionary okay so there are a lot of options very good options in this dictionary Okay everyone, these are some of the dictionaries that I have on my smartphone that I use on daily basis. Now I'll take you to the screen of my laptop and I'll show you some other dictionaries including these dictionaries that I use on my laptop. So let's go there. So guys, welcome to the screen of my laptop and uh, I'll show you some of the dictionaries that I use on my laptop. So let's get started. So first of all, I'm going to show you the Longman Dictionary. It's a wonderful dictionary that uh, you would, uh, you must have it on your laptop. Okay, so let's see how it looks like and what are some of the features. Okay, Dictionary of Contemporary English. Longman Dictionary of Contemporary English. Now here, first of all, you would see word of the day. Okay, so this is a word that you would be, uh, um, you would get a new word every day uh, whenever you would open this um, uh, uh, dictionary. And uh, I must tell you that uh, when I was, uh, uh, when I showed you the dictionaries on uh, my Android phone, uh, one thing uh, about uh, them is also um, good that they also give you a notification of word of the day. So each day when you would uh, uh, see uh, any not notifications on your uh, Android smartphone, one of them would be a, a word of the day from the dictionaries that you have uh, installed on your um, Android smartphone such as the um, Cambridge Advanced Learners Dictionary or the Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary. Now in other, um, this dictionary uh, that I'm showing you on my laptop, I have this also on my Android smartphone but the features are limited. As you can see a lot of fe features here uh, on the laptop so some features are limited on the uh, Android uh, uh, dictionary of this uh, uh, long main uh, dictionary of contemporary English so it has limited features but main features are also on the Android application of uh, this dictionary but I wanted to show you the more options on my laptop so see this is a man option of the dictionary if you just click on this and then uh, you can search any word here say if I am searching if I search the word lugubrious I don't know if I search this somewhere if the spelling is incorrect okay so I have a problem here with the spelling so see uh, I have given this E so it's incorrect so it's uh, showing me that did you mean lagubilis so I meant it okay so now you can see that it's uh, telling me the pronunciation lagubrious 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 and it's adjective. Okay, so it tells me that it's adjective and it's literary Okay, so what kind of word is this? It's literary and here you see that synonyms. It's telling me synonyms melancholy morose Okay, and here it's telling me and uh, derivatives of this word lugubriously. Okay, it's an adverb so uh, word origin if you click on this you would be told uh, from um, where this word uh, you know came and um, its history so it's a very good dictionary everyone you should you know have this dictionary on your laptop on your pc and it's a wonderful dictionary okay now if i uh, want to go to the uh, main page that you already saw i would click here on the home page 
so you see i have uh, returned here a lot of uh, options are there so these are wonderful options one of uh, uh, you know the best things about this um, uh, these dictionaries is that they you know teach you a lot of grammar a lot of exercises out there okay so i would just give you a very uh, quick overview of these so this is a cultural dictionary it would tell you the words related with different cultures of the world and this is activator so here uh, build your vocabulary with the long man language activator so here you would get a lot of exercises and all this and grammar find answers to all your grammar questions here so a lot of uh, grammatical points uh, this dictionary teaches you along with the exercises so here is the exercise uh, section uh, practice your english with interactive exercises and games and this is vocabulary builder it says learn and revise vocabulary with the long man vocabulary trainer and this is teachers resources it's a wonderful option okay ready mad lesson plans to print off and use in class this is something very useful for people like me who are teachers and if you are a teacher then this is definitely going to be very helpful for you so let's click and see so some of the synonyms dictionaries and all these options you know you can print so let's see first synonyms okay this is a worksheet that you know you can use in your class okay very good if i just go and search any other collocations okay if i just click on this i can open this collocations okay so you see that uh, words that can go together its exercise is there you can see a lot of good options or even it has exercises okay and you can also see the answers okay so these are very good uh, okay so technology computers employment a lot of topics are there that uh, you know you can uh, just uh, print the exercises okay let's go back everyone and let's see what other resources we have a uh, pop up dictionary look up words when you when using the internet or writing emails so this is like this looks like this okay a pop up dictionary okay it's a very short dictionary uh, okay here so you can see this okay so if i just go back i would click on the dictionary and see i'm back here okay so if i click on this option again i would be back so guided to uh, here it would uh, tell you how you can use this okay a lot of uh, tutorials are there okay if you don't know how to use this dictionary then there are tutorials okay so the you can use these tutorials and communication 3000 words learn more about the most frequent words in spoken and written english so it has a list of words okay so these are very good words everyone should know these words okay you can see this whole list okay 3000 words for communication and written language okay academic word list now these are the words that you know you would uh, you might come across in your student life okay so in academics very good words okay and final writing assistant this is something very good okay everyone uh, you can uh, use uh, uh, this uh, uh, to just learn um, say letter writing or email writing or uh, say summary writing or any essay writing i would show you this option in our oxford advanced learners dictionary uh, on my laptop here so this was the option uh, this was the, uh, this was missing option on the android phone okay so uh, everyone now this is uh, the long man's dictionary i hope you like it i hope you would uh, try to use it okay everyone this is a great dictionary that you must have on your laptop okay so again you can see these are some of the options here uh, that i showed you uh, you can access them uh, through uh, these options okay so for example if you just click on collocations then uh, for example the word ability what are the other words that can go with it and here you can um, uh, work on some of the exercises okay so a lot of things are there that you should explore exam practice okay so you can uh, see a lot of options are there and even reading passages are there okay so english in use 
so this is a wonderful dictionary everyone so i hope you would try to use it okay a lot of things are there that you can explore on your own i hope you like this dictionary it's a long main dictionary of contemporary english okay everyone this is a great dictionary now i'll take you to another dictionary on my laptop so this is macmillan english dictionary it's a wonderful dictionary everyone one of the best dictionaries that i have shown you so see <laughs> macmillan dictionary wonderful dictionary a lot of options a lot of uh, tools here exercises study pages okay as i showed you some of these options in longman's dictionary here you can see what you want to learn your writing skills or your vocabulary or language awareness articles let's click on this uh, at class at class okay so let's improve uh, uh, writing skills now these are the sections in writing okay they, they would help you with writing essays and all this for example how you can add information so see a lot of things they would tell you in addition to so how to use this addition in addition to transition word okay a lot of other words for some further and other okay these are the uh, some of the transitional words that uh, it's teaching you so you need to explore these things on your own so if i just uh, choose cause and uh, expressing cause and effect how we can uh, show a uh, cause and effect so see you should read this information and click on next and see a lot of uh, information with examples okay so this is a great great uh, dictionary that you should use on your phone on your laptop or on your pc a lot of things are there that are very important for all the students this would not not only help you with your um, writing but it would also help you with your speaking lots of things are there everyone <coughs> so uh, these are some of the <coughs> excuse me <coughs> so these are some of the other things okay how you can uh, show listings introducing topics related uh, ideas okay introducing a uh, concession expressing possibility and certainty grammar section is also there so lots of things are there everyone you should learn and uh, uh, exercises okay so a lot of exercises okay see this is something great you should you know explore these things on your own okay everyone some of the basic features uh, for example if i search a word say what word i should search say if the word i'm searching willy fi okay willy fi okay good it tells me pronunciation willy fi okay willy fi and it also tells me derivatives willification is noun okay it's uncountable noun and this is the meaning okay so a lot of things are there you can uh, search so this is one of the great dictionaries everyone and one thing here if you want to, to record your pronunciation it would uh, allow you to record and match your pronunciation if i just click on this willify and i here i stopped it let's see my uh, pronunciation oh great <laughs> i could see hear my own voice willify if i match it willify willify let me match it Ah, oh good i can uh, practice my pronunciation this is something great option i think you would find this option in uh, a previous dictionary of long main contemporary english so about macmillan dictionary that this is one of the great great options and other things that i showed you uh, on when i i told you about when i well, when i showed you the android uh, dictionary that you can add your words okay bookmark them add a note okay a lot of other options are there you can copy paint anything you want to do you can do okay so this is a great dictionary now let me take you to another dictionary now i'm going to take you to oxford collocation dictionaries this is a great dictionary everyone that you should use if you want to learn more about words that uh, what words can go together okay so for example if i just click on this word abandon 
Now let's see. You know, it's uh, telling me that what the words can go with this word. Okay, so just let's see. Abandon. So the town had been hastily abandoned. So the word hastily goes with it. If you say here somebody uh, abandon somebody to their fate, so these uh, other words are can go with this. Be uh, aban be abandoned, be left abandoned. Okay, be found abandoned. So these are some of the words. So for example, if you hear other meaning, stop doing or supporting something. So abandon altogether, abandon completely, abandon entirely, abandon totally. So see here, the government does not but. Uh, proposed to abandon the project altogether now it means that these words can go with the uh, this word a lot of information this is something very important uh, all uh, the non native speakers especially would find this very very helpful everyone so i hope that uh, you would uh, give it a go so everyone uh, the collocation dictionary is a different dictionary it is a very good uh, useful very handy tool for learners okay for uh, those uh, who are learning english is a second language okay so it's a bit different dictionary now you know its main function is that it would uh, uh, help you master a new word uh, you know you would be able to find what other words can go with this word in uh, what other ways you can use this word okay so this is a very good tool you should have it on your laptop okay it's something very very helpful so see there are different dictionaries the dictionary uh, you know main dictionaries that i showed you how you can search words but there is another dictionary of uh, that's known as thesaurus now thesaurus mostly you know comes with uh, the dictionaries that i have already taught you and the dictionaries that i have already shown you so uh, what you should uh, do you should uh, try to uh, you know not only learn uh, the words that go together uh, but at the same time uh, you should also learn some other linked words that you know uh, so what are some synonyms okay so the function of the thesaurus dictionary is that the thesaurus would tell you related words so for example the word here abandon then uh, it would tell, tell you some other synonyms other words that you can uh, use in place of uh, the word abandon but the main function of the uh, collocation dictionary is different it would tell you what other words with this main word that you are mastering that you are learning that you are trying to learn can go with okay so the thesaurus dictionary is a bit different dictionary and the dictionary of collocations is a bit different dictionaries and, and i must tell you that uh, these um, uh, thesauruses thesaurus uh, you know this is mostly attached this uh, function is attached in the main dictionaries that i already showed you in the past i would also again show you that how you can find the thesaurus in um, my other dictionary that i will show you here on um, a laptop okay so everyone uh, this is something great and um, i hope you would uh, use it now let's go to the other dictionary that i have on my uh, laptop so the other dictionary i would tell you oxford advanced learners dictionary i showed you this on my uh, smartphone but here why i'm showing you again i'm showing you it because of this i writer option in it okay so it's a great tool everyone uh, you know especially for those who are struggling to uh, write okay so this is something great now for example if i just search a word here say expression simple word i'm just expression. looking up expression okay now you can see this uh, um, there's pronunciation okay in uh, ipa and also in audios is it told you the thesaurus okay so here this would also help you to find the related words with this okay so mostly thesaurus you know comes with uh, the dictionaries okay but collocations collocation does uh, uh, you know come with uh, uh, in, in main dictionaries especially these advanced learners dictionaries okay uh, so but it, it's always a good idea to have a separate dictionary of collocations okay now uh, let's focus on this how it's different uh, uh, you know on the laptop so the main thing that i want you to learn about this dictionary is i writer okay so uh, you would also find uh, you know activities meaning exercises and resources printable resources that you can you know uh, print and practice uh, my main uh, focus is here on i writer 
so here this is something great everyone i use it uh, myself uh, you know for teaching any samples say letter writing email writing report writing say resume writing say covering letters you know a lot of things are there that you know i teach to my students so i take help of these uh, uh, tools so let's see over here you can just find the models and then you if you are ready then you can uh, you know go and try your own writing okay so first let's see the models so see here how you can um, you know um, compare okay how you can compare okay comparison essay how you can organize it okay what is the structure how uh, how was it planned so a lot of things are there so uh, for example if i just click on a sample uh, you know this is a sample which uh, you can see and if i just want to see the structure as well so see here this is the structure if i just see the notes outlinings then these were the out these are the outlinings that you know uh, this dictionary uh, would show you for this essay and then show content then the main essay here you can see show all then this all is uh, shown if you just want to you know um um hide everything everything would be hidden if you want to see just see just notes then this would be uh, visible by just clicking this option so everyone if i just go back okay and uh, uh, just models if i click on models okay or maybe i would go back home okay and click on this option so see everyone argumentation okay how you can write argumentative essay how you can uh, you know write uh, short reports long reports how can you write a book review how you can write a letter of complaint okay so a lot of things are there so for example if i just click on a short report then you know what's a report a lot of information is given here okay what's the structure of a report how it's planned okay show me some useful language then it would show you some useful language see these are some of the words that you would find handy in uh, writing report of your own so if i just click on structure structure would be shown notes show content okay so see this is something very very important everyone you would uh, you know find this very much useful so go and experiment with it everyone it's something great okay so it's something great letter of complaint see what's a letter of complaint how it's structured okay a lot of things are there everyone samples are there you know a lot of things are there so see not only samples but outlinings and a lot of important information it would tell you okay last thing let me just show you how covering letter is written see the sample outlinings a lot of important uh, you know uh, samples you would find okay so just if i click on resume writing okay then a lot of information is there that you can see if i just click on show all then this is a sample of resume writing okay so cv curriculum vitae you call it okay in other words so even this is something great you should use it you know it would help you a lot okay and if i just quickly show you uh, other you know options of this the academic word list okay so see i think i showed you this and then maybe you can practice okay so you can drag and drop and you know all these things if i click on resources then a lot of things you can print if i just click on this phrasal verbs then you would uh, see a pdf okay so see a lot of things are there that you can you know print you can find the um, pdfs okay so a lot of things are there everyone a lot of uh, worksheets okay regular verbs using tenses passivises okay so passivise a lot of things are there everyone this is something great great you would um, you know like it so much okay you would like uh, you would find it very very helpful okay and then maps are also given there okay so everyone now uh, this is a great tool i hope you would uh, I uh, give it a go you would try to uh, see it use it okay you can explore it on your own okay so see the map a lot of things are there important things okay for these maps are very helpful for everyone especially for those who study geography okay so now
the other uh, uh, dictionary that I want you to use is very special dictionary. Okay, why it's a special dictionary? It's a picture dictionary, it's a photo dictionary. So I'm here showing you long man photo dictionary. Now, what's something special about, about this dictionary? Now, sometimes everyone, you know, you can't find a word. Okay, so it's always helpful to see some pictures and then, you know, you can find that word. So if I just click uh, randomly, if I just uh, scroll through these flowers, what are their names? There's a number and then you can find those words okay for example if I just go somewhere else offices okay different situation you know you would find a lot of different situations handy tools what their names are a lot of things are there we learn a lot of things okay so see these are hairstyles okay so if you don't know any particular word you can uh, you can just see for example if i don't know this word how what's the word for this hairstyle number four then i just uh, brown dark hair okay this is brown dark hair okay but it's a very short hair okay so see everyone this is something great okay here very important and vocabulary you would find Okay, a lot of situations are there. Okay, let me just see this. Okay, what does what is the problem with this man? Number five, he's got a sore throat. Oh my god, he's got a sore throat. What about this woman? She's got tooth hack. Oh yeah, good. So see, this is uh, something. Oh, what's the problem with this little boy? Number six. Let's see, what's the problem with this little boy? Number six. Uh, he's got a cough. Oh, he's coughing. Yeah, he's coughing. <laughs> so everyone, this is something great. Uh, you should use these dictionaries. Okay, the picture dictionary. I like it. And sometimes when I don't know any proper word, I just and I know that uh, what to what situation it's related. Then I just come to the photo dictionary and I try to find a word. Okay, so this is something helpful. So everyone, uh, you know, I have shown you thesis you know why it's used i have shown you the car location dictionaries i have shown you the long man dictionary of contemporary english i have shown you the oxford advanced learners dictionary i have shown you the macmillan advanced learners dictionary a lot of dictionaries i showed you everyone i hope you like my work and if you like please try to share it with your friends and family don't forget to subscribe to my channel hit the like button so i have spent a lot of time creating this video it took me a lot of time so i hope you would uh, also share a lot of love okay so this is all i had on my laptop but still i have to show you something more how you can access these dictionaries online through their websites okay stay tuned so everyone now it's time to show you how you can access the, these dictionaries through their websites so first of all see i have opened google and uh, in google i have just written cambridge dictionary online with pronunciation you can just write uh, cambridge dictionary okay so um, now you can see the data has given me some links so the first link is of the dictionary okay just click on it okay now you can uh, see some of the options that you already saw such as thesis and grammar okay and translate option is also here that wasn't in the in the you know um, android or on uh, windows version of this dictionary okay uh, now let's search a word okay so let's look up a word say i'm searching the word abstemious okay let's see the meaning of this word so you can see uh the meaning okay not showing things that give you not doing things that give you pleasure especially not eating good food or drinking alcohol okay so here you can uh, click on the pronunciation abstemious okay and here uh, the american pronunciation and that was abstemious this was uh, earlier it was the uh, uk english meaning uh, british english and uh, this was american english okay pronunciation so everyone uh, this is how you can access the uh, cambridge advanced learners dictionary online and uh, you would find some more options here okay uh, so uh, i highly recommend that you uh, explore this dictionary yourself online if you don't have uh, 
uh, it on your Android smartphone or on your Windows, then you can access it online. Okay, so this is Advanced Learners Cambridge Advanced Learners Dictionary. Okay, now I'm going to show you how you can access the other dictionary. Okay, so let's go back to Google. Okay, now here I would search Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary. Okay, so see a lot of options are coming. If I just click on it, okay, so this first link Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionaries. So, everyone, this is the Advanced Learners Dictionary, Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary, and you can see some of the features that it's uh, giving you a word of the day, okay? So, from the word list, okay, Oxford 5000 words C1, okay? So, see every day if you access this online, then you would also uh, be able to see the word of the day, and there are some other options, okay? A word of the month is also there, okay? New learn and practice uh, grammar. So, like uh, in uh, um, Windows version of this dictionary, you can also learn some grammatical points online through this website. Okay, so let's search a word. Now, what word I should, I should search? Say, I'm searching Ascetic. AC. Spelling is incorrect. So, uh, it's uh, showing me, did you mean these options? Yes, I meant this one. I've, I didn't give it a C. Okay, or uh, maybe, I don't know what I, how I did I write. So, see, actually, this is uh, ascetic. Okay, you can click on the pronunciations. Ascetic. Okay. Ascetic. And its meaning is a person who lives in a simple and strict way without physical pleasures, especially for religious reasons. Okay, so this is how you can uh, find the meanings. Okay, now let's see what other dictionary you can access. Now I'm going to show you Advanced Learners Macmillan Dictionary. Okay, so let's uh, go back to Google and write there. Okay, so everyone, I just uh, wrote in Google Macmillan Online Dictionary. So this is another dictionary that I showed you. So you can access this online. So the first link is of this dictionary, Macmillan Advanced Learners Dictionary. Okay, Macmillan Dictionary. It's not uh, like advanced learners. They don't uh, add this word here. Okay, so some options you would find here. Collocations. Okay, we have talked a lot about collocations. And we have also talked about thesis. Okay, so you can access these uh, 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 thesis online in collocation. So if you want me to remind you, collocations are the words that go together. So if you are learning a new word, then uh, um, what other words uh, can go with that word, you can uh, learn through collocations. And thesis would give you related other synonyms, uh, antonyms, other words of uh, the word that you are trying to learn. So for example, if I'm searching a word here, Okay, so let's see what's the meaning of this word ameliorate. Okay, so let me just click the search button. Okay, so you can see uh, the word and here it would tell you the uh, forms of the word. Okay, definition to improve something or to make it less severe. Okay, synonyms and related words you can also see and uh, you can also see that it would tell you Drived word, okay. Other words that you can make from this amelioration, okay. So it's a noun. So, everyone, this is how you can uh, search, okay. So, you can search the words online, you can access the Macmillan dictionary online uh, through their website, okay. So, this is what you uh, can uh, do online through these dictionaries, okay. I hope you uh, liked the decision. So online, I told you how to access uh, uh, the Cambridge Advanced Learners Dictionary, okay, Oxford Advanced Learners Dictionary, and Macmillan Dictionary. And finally, I would show you how you can access the how you can access the which one was remaining Longman Advanced Learners Dictionary, Longman. Uh, dictionary of contemporary English. Okay, so here I would uh, just write long name online dictionary. Let's see. You don't have to write the whole words. Okay, long name dictionary of contemporary English. Okay, so see here this first link.
So this is the dictionary. Okay, so you can access it online as well. So no worries if you don't have it on your smartphone or you don't have it on your Windows. See, these are the dictionaries that you know you can also get in print. Okay. So everyone, this is how you can access the dictionary online. Let's uh, look up a word. Say I'm just uh, looking up a simple word. Okay, a boat. You can see the pronunciation. Okay. A boat. So see. A boat. And one thing here that uh, the sentences that you get here online, you can also listen to their Welcome others. Welcome to my humble abode. Okay. A homeless person with no fixed abode. Okay. So the meaning of the word here, it's formal, someone's home. Some sometimes used it humorously. Okay, so see, uh, one thing about uh, um, Longman Dictionary online is that it would also uh, reach to you the sentences. Okay, so here are some other options. Okay, a lot of things are there. Okay, a lot of contexts is, uh, is, uh, are given here, a lot of situations are given. Okay, so if you would read these uh, contexts, situations, okay. So it would be very helpful for you, okay, uh, to master this word. And also, or uh, is uh, in other dictionaries here, you can also see word of the day, okay, online, uh, in a long man uh, dictionary, okay, of contemporary English, you can also see the word of the day, okay. So I leave this up to you, how you can make the most uh, out of these dictionaries, okay. So I hope you liked uh, these uh, dictionaries. So everyone, I hope you found this lesson uh, useful and very handy. I hope that you would be able to access these dictionaries. You would be able to use these dictionaries on your smartphone and on your laptop. If you like, if you have any comments and questions, you can ask me. Put the questions and comments in the comments option, and I would be able to uh, and I would make sure to reply you. Okay, so everyone, and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the like button, and show me you have more love by sharing this video with your family and friends so see you in the next lesson until then goodbye